I, I was older. I should have known better. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have done it. Philip Schofield back on TV, not as host, but as guest. And in this lengthy confessional interview, he addressed the fallout from his relationship with a younger male colleague. We were mates, and um, you know, we around the studios, you hang out together, you know, you chat to each other, that sort of stuff. Um, and then, in my dressing room one day, something happened. Mr Schofield says he first met his former colleague when he was 15, but that no kind of sexual contact happened until he was 20. In the most serious accusation put to him, he denied he had groomed him. What was unwise was the fact that it happened, and that was a very, very grave error. Now, it was consensual, but it was my fault. Why? Because I shouldn't have done it. See you on Monday. Bye. This was his last appearance on This Morning a fortnight ago. On today's programme, host Alison Hammond emotionally reflected on her former colleague's TV interview. Oh, I was finding it really painful because, obviously, you know, I loved Philip Schofield and it's weird because I still love Philip Schofield. Mm -hmm. However, what he's done is wrong. He's admitted it, he's said sorry. But I'm really... I mean, as a family, we're all really um, struggling to process everything. Philip Schofield claims he's been struggling himself after several weeks of media scrutiny. He alluded to the late TV presenter Caroline Flack, who took her own life three years ago. It is relentless and it is day after day after day after day. And if you do that, if you don't think that that is going to have the most catastrophic effect on someone's mind, what do you, do you want me to die? Because that's where I am. And this is how Caroline Flack felt. And it didn't stop. ITV hasn't commented on the interview, but was it a good idea for Philip Schofield to have spoken at all? One expert in public relations crisis management says commenting publicly at this precise moment may have been unwise. We possibly would have advised him to keep quiet now and to, um, because all the facts are not yet known. Um, the, it is an employment matter. It is time to let the due process take place. It is something where once you've started going into that level of detail, when other things become known, or other speculation happens, you feel as if you want to update what's happened. The show goes on without Philip Schofield. After 20 years on the programme, he says he now sees no future for his career. Let's speak to Julia Knife now, who's outside Television Centre, where uh, ITV make uh, this morning. Julia, what, what's clear is that this story is showing no sign of going away at the moment. Hi, Daniel. On Monday, Holly Willoughby is due to return to this morning for the first time uh, since Philip Schofield's departure. Is she going to address all of this in any way? It would perhaps be a bit glaring if she didn't, given that the team here today uh, referenced it so heavily. And then on Tuesday, there could be questions about this uh, in front of a committee of MPs. They may reserve those points for the following week, though. They have uh, called the chief executive of ITV, Dame Carolyn McCall, to them to give evidence, uh, and that could be on uh, June the 14th. But a really lengthy interview from uh, Philip Schofield, 45 minutes, plus that uh, newspaper interview as well. Uh, much of interest for ITV, especially when uh, he said that when ITV executives questioned him and uh, this younger colleague about their affair, he said it wasn't a formal uh, investigation. That might suggest how seriously they took it at the time. There is this external review uh, going on by a barrister into how ITV handled all of this, but that could be a key detail.